Hello students, today we are going to start with the chapter Coal and Petroleum and we will be discussing the topic Petroleum. Petroleum. The word Petroleum has been derived from the word Petra, which uh, it came from a Latin word. Petra means Sorry, Petra means rock and oleum means oil. Okay, rock. Rock and oleum means oil. So that's why petroleum is called rock oil or crude oil. What is called crude oil? You know, this petroleum or uh, the products of Petroleum are petrol and diesel and they were very much used by our vehicles for running or as used for by their we use the energy of petroleum and diesels to run our vehicles. Now it is a natural occurring uh, flammable liquid found in deep inside the earth's crust and it is a complex mixture of hydrocarbon and other useful organic compounds so the proportion of uh, hydrocarbon is highly volatile and highly variable and ranges as much as from 97 percent of weight in the lighter oils to 50 percent in the heavier oils so this is a variable composition and proportions are there you know this crude oil or this petroleum was first discovered in 1875 by david bt in Warren, Pennsylvania and this leads to the opening of Bradford oil field and which produces by 1880s, 1880s about the world 77 percent of the global oil supply. So this was the person who discovered this crude oil. Now we will be discussing the formation. Formation of petroleum formation of petroleum you know uh, in ancient times our earth was mostly covered by sea and oceans and these type of thing so there were many tiny sea animals were there and plants lived in that as they died they sank on the bottom of the sea and what happens at the bottom of the sea they accumulate and sand slit and layers of soil sand slit were accumulated okay and this create the deposit of fossils of tiny sea animals and plants and what happened with this immense weight and pressure of the sea and the sand leads to the creation of petroleum Okay, now what happens this marine plants with millions of years this marine plants and animal matter decomposed in the absence of air and under high pressure and under high temperature or the temperature is around 200 degrees Celsius. This much high pressure or temperature was there and it leads to the creation of the formation of petroleum and natural gas. You know this petroleum is found in porous rocks. What happens? Uh, these are reservoirs. There is oil. That is petroleum. Then there is gas. And then there is water. As this oil is lighter than water. There is water. This oil get deposited here. And as gas is also lighter than. Gas oil se bhi zyada lighter hai. Toh pe aapko gas milti hai. So here it is oil and it is gas and we uh, dig this porous rock are drilled by oil rigs. By why? How? Oil rigs. Ki through we dig karte hai. Okay. So this is how we use oil rigs. 
So, this is how the formation of coal is done or it is used by us. Okay, and it is gushes out, but like if we are a simple point is made, this oil grad rushes out, but like it is very high pressure, and then we have to collect it, and then we have to process it, and then we have to use it for different types. But you can see the formation. Uh, there is an image given in your book about the petroleum and natural gas formation that how ocean around 300 400 million years ago that tiny tea, uh, sea plants and animals died and buried in the ocean floor. Once time they covered with the layers of slit and sand, then this remains of plants and animals under very intense high temperature and pressure they converted into oil and gas now we today can dig this coal and uh, sorry oil and co gas deposit with the help of oil rig okay next is uh, an activity given of fractional distillation why the activity is given of fractional distillation as coal was processed by destructive distillation petroleum is processed by fractional distillations and it is called refining of petroleum okay so this activity is given where the fractional the process of fractional distillation is explained so next heading is refining of petroleum Petroleum also produces different different types of products like coal, like we have coke, coal tar, coal gas, ammonical liquor. Here also petroleum produces different different types of gases. Okay, this raw crude oil that is obtained from the earth is very little of use. So it is refined and it, uh, from that we gain various different different type of useful product. Okay, and these useful products are used for different different types of works. Okay, bacha. So now, this crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbon and other small quantities of material like you know hydrogen, sorry, <coughs> oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, and many other salts, and also water is also there. So at first, all these materials like oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, and water are removed. And then this hydrocarbons, you know, every hydrocarbons born at a certain, boil at a certain temperature that is called boiling point. So, we use this trick of different, different boiling point and we use the method of distillation. Distillation is a process of simultaneously evaporation and condensation of liquid. So, fractional distillation is used to separate. Because, you know, this crude oil, all the different, different byproducts are mixed together. That is, they are miscible liquid. And, but your miscible liquid ko separate karne ke liye, we use fractional distillation. Okay. So, we use fractional distillation. Now, okay, so let's start. You know what happens? We use that is this separate miscible liquid are heated up, and these uh, separate parts have different different boiling points, and we keep them in a very designed tower, and this tower is called fractionating tower or fractionating column. Okay, and this column, were, you know, works continuously with heated crude oil piped at the bottom. And at different, different level, there is different, different products taken out. As you can see in the image given in your books of the fractional distillation of crude oil. You know, this, uh, the first, we will discuss all the chemicals and fuels obtained from crude oil. You can see that bitumen is obtained for roads lubricating oil is used uh, like 
see the temperature at 25 degree celsius the first thing you will be obtaining is petroleum gas जो आप अपने घरों में सिलेंडर्स होते हैं बच्चा दैट इज एल पी जी सिलेंडर्स लिखे हुए होते हैं सो दैट पेट्रोलियम गैस इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम हेयर नेक्स्ट वी ऑप्टेन गैसोलिन हमारे वहीकल्स में जो हम पेट्रोल यूज करते हैं और गैसोलिन दैट इज ऑप्टेन एट अ टेम्परेचर ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस टू सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्सियस द नेक्स्ट इज वेन द टेम्परेचर इज इज टू सिक्सटी एंड वन एटी डिग्री सेल्सियस वी गेट नेफ्था एंड इट इज यूज इन केमिकल इंडस्ट्रीज Next is used uh, the temperature when reaches 180 to 200 degrees Celsius. We get paraffin. This is a wax. Okay, it is used in cosmetics and like for lipsticks, your vaselines are made from paraffins. Next, 220 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Celsius, we get diesel, which is used in our trucks. Okay, your trucks are mostly used. Our many cars are also there, which use diesel as a fuel. Next, we get fuel oil and this fuel oil is used by our ships your cruises your ships and all and the temperature is 250 degree celsius to 300 degree celsius next when the temperature is more than uh, 300 to 350 degree celsius lubricating oils are produced and last when the temperature is higher than 350 degree celsius we get crude oils uh, furnaces are done that is uh, electricity is produced by them and then bitumen is also produced for making our roads so this is fractional distillation of crude oil now we will be discussing all the few chemicals obtained from crude oil the first uh, is petroleum gas this is liquefied petroleum gases are used because they are liquefied and filled in cylinders and used as a fuel in vehicles and all the to make other petrochemical products also next is kerosene it is also used for cooking and lighting lamps you know it has a you know this high quality kerosene is also used as aviation fuel that is it is used in jet aircrafts so this is one of the by product of crude oil or petroleum there is a difference between petroleum and petrol petroleum is crude oil and petrol is gasoline now next is gasoline it is used in uh, vehicles and aircraft and it is also used as a solvent for dry cleaning aapki dry cleaning mein agar aap koi kapde bhej rahe hain so petroleum is used there for cleaning your clothes also okay diesel it is used to run heavy vehicles like buses trucks railways these use diesels okay now fuel oil you know this fuel oil is used in furnaces and boilers in industries and it leaves no residue Like we have no problem for environment in this fuel oil. Next is lubricating oils. You know this your heavy machineries. They require lubrication. That is, they require some shy. Ocha kya? Okay. Suppose you are wearing a bangle. Suppose I am wearing a bangle. Your mother wearing a bangle. So what happens? She will apply some type of gel or some type of cream on her hand so that the that bangle can go easily in her hand so that's how machines also require lubrication so that they can work easily so lubrication means this lubricating oils are used in heavy machineries then paraffin paraffin wax that is used to make candles wax paper wax paper cosmetics like lipsticks vaseline ointments all these are made from paraffin wax asphalt this is a black and sticky substance and it is you know it does not vaporize and it is used to make paints and road surfaces last is petrochemicals you know the petroleum gas jo humne pehle obtain ki thi sabse pehle it is used to make many many organic products such as methyl alcohol ethyl alcohol ethylene benzene ddt it is a fertilizer okay and this petroleum gas is also this petroleum oil is also used to synthesize fibers main aapko bataya tha synthetic fiber hum petroleum se bana sakte hain so synthetic fibers bante hain synthetic rubber bante hain perfumes bante hain fertilizers explosives dyes sab bante hain okay now next is distribution of petroleum middle east saudi arabia kuwait iran and iraq have about 70% of the world petroleum reserve libya Russia, China and United Arab Emirates 
Venezuela, uh, United States, that is United States of America, Mexico, Canada, Norway, Brazil to have a large oil reserves. Okay. In India, oil is found, that is crude oil is found in Assam, Gujarat and Arabian Sea of the, uh, Arabian sea of the coast of Mumbai. Okay, in the coast of Mumbai, uh, this uh, Arabian Sea is there. Arabian Sea is there, and there we can find the oil reserves. And also in the river basins of Godavari and Krishna River. So, coal we get on land. Petroleum is mostly related to nearby seas and oceans. Next, we will be le learning about this liquefied petroleum gases that is used in our LPG cylinders. Okay, so the next heading is L. P G liquefied petroleum gas. So by applying the petroleum gas that we have obtained, जब हम इस बच्चा pressure put करते हैं and then we just uh, uh, contain it or store it in a container under pressure, then this liquefied petroleum gas is formed. It is used as domestic purposes also for industrial purposes also. Okay. So this uh, LPG is very highly volatile gas and it is when we just, you know, when we change this liquid, you know, when you have a cylinder, try to move that cylinder, you will be seeing that there is liquid in it. But when you on your gas, your, the gas comes out. How it is? When you uh, burn your, your, start your, ignite your burners of the stoves, the gas comes out. How? Because it get easily transferred from liquid to gaseous state. Okay. So, it is highly combustible, very volatile and catches fire very much easily. To avoid any harm, you know, to students, uh, uh, you know, suppose a cylinder is there and it, it is leaking and it may catch fire very easily. A single spark can cause a very large fire. So, what happens? A substance is added and the substance is ethyl mercapetin and this ethyl mercapetin has a very आपके घर में कभी gas leak होता है तो माँ बोलते है ना smell आ रही है वो gas की smell नहीं होती बच्चा वो smell इसकी होती है ethyl mercapetin की जिससे कि आपको बता चल जाए कि gas leak हो रही है and you do not burn anything or put a spark there. So just say that you protect or koi bhi unholy or aisa koi incident nahi akar kar pae. So it's a natural stench or smell of thyl makapetin. Now the advantages and disadvantages of using petroleum. You know petroleum is very much relatively abundantly available and has high energy density. That is give high energy. And it can be also transported very easily and it produces no waste. It is one of the most important source of energy till 1950s. Okay, and now it is useful for very many other industries also. It is used to make fertilizers, synthetic fibers, explosives, dyes. So it is used for various purposes. You know, you know when pharmaceuticals, aapki medicines to industries banati, you know, pharmaceuticals get hai. They also use petroleum products, the various byproducts of petroleum. But what are the disadvantages? As petroleum is a non-renewable resource, it can exhaust any moment of time. You know, in another 50 years, it may exhaust completely from our earth and it will create a global energy crisis. And also petroleum fuels are not eco-friendly, that is they are not environmental friendly and pollute our environment and leads to global warming. The next is natural gas. This is the product that is obtained along with our crude oil or petroleum. Let me write down the heading. Natural gas. Okay, this natural gas is also fossil fuel and it is found along with crude oil. Uh, it is formed by the slow decomposition of fossil and it consists of methane. Mostly the chemical compound it is of methane. And it is transported through underground underlying pipes and all this. 
and how this uh, natural gas is stored it is compressed what is compressed under pressure hum is gas ko ek container mein pressure laga laga ke laga laga ke store kar dete hain and this is how our cngs are formed c n g compressed natural gas and you know dtt buses in delhi has been switched over to cng cngs so it also occurs in larger amount as compared to oil and or coal so the next we will be discussing about the uses of natural gases as it burns readily to produce lot of heat it can be used without any treatment also so cng is used in industrial and domestic fuels it is also used as a fuel in automobiles it is used as a fuel in a combination for aviation fuel that is in our jets and airplanes okay it is also used as a source of hydrogen and used in a fertilizer industries and it is used as a raw material for the synthesis of very large number of chemicals okay ye raw material ki tarah use karte hain jisse hum different different types of chemical products develop kar sakte hain let's talk about the distribution or uh, in the world the world's largest gas reserves are located in russia okay the world's largest natural gas producer is also russia india too has very high vast reserves of natural gas uh, it's in tirapura rajasthan maharashtra and krishna godavari delta so here we can find this natural gas reserves are there now uh, there's a fact fight given fact site given about this methane gas you know this methane gas is produced naturally in wetlands uh, where oxygen concentration is very low okay and a group of microorganism called methogens what they are called methogens this produces this methane gas as they respire carbon dioxide to drive energy so that how methane gas is used and this methane gas can be useful for a Uh, can be used as a fuel also now care for natural resources the next heading is care for natural resources as this natural resources are very much non renewable we should take proper care for them so that they do not get ex exhaust very soon okay so we should take proper care of this so how we can take care of this natural resources we will be studying coal and petroleum meet 75% of our energy needs and they are exhaustible and are getting depleted very prettily very 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 fast so as they release very high amount of carbon dioxide and other harmful gases it is also polluting our environment also which is leading to the problem of global warming so that's why we should you know along with this uh, use of this petroleum and coal we should try to find some alternative methods of energy also so and there had been work going on इस पर बहुत काम हो रहा है बच्चा कि हम अलग अलग रिसोर्सेज फाइंड करें जिससे हम एनर्जी ले सकें सो दिस फॉर द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ दिस फ्यूल द गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पी सी आर ए दैट इज पेट्रोलियम कन्वर्जेशन रिसर्च एसोसिएशन हैज लेड डाउन सर्टन मेजर्स टू कीप अ चेक ऑन द एक्सेसिव यूज ऑफ दिस नेचुरल फ्यूल्स एंड दीज मेजर्स आर एज फॉलोज दैट इज our car consumes lot of petrol uh, so car pollution need to be done that is suppose aap school ja rahe hain bachcha and aapke friend aapke ghar ke paas hi rehte hai so one day aapke papa aap dono ko chhod de ek din aap dono aapke papa chhod de ek bar uske papa chhod de ek bar aapke papa chhod de and not only two you can uh, in a car you can come four to five for girls or four to five your classmates can come or your school uh, स्कूल मेट्स कैन कम सो दे कैन गो टूगेदर सो पेट्रोलियम विल बी सेफ सो कार कूलिंग शुड बी यूटिलाइज यूज ऑफ पब्लिक वहीकल शुड बी यूज यू नो यू कैन यूज क्लीनर फ्यूल्स लाइक सी एन जी बिकॉज इट डू नॉट प्रोड्यूस एनी हार्मफुल गैसेज ओके एंड योर व्हीकल्स दैट यू आर यूजिंग फॉर लाइक शुड बी प्रॉपरली 
एंड टाइमली द लाइक आपको इसे टाइमली आपको है ना शॉप्स पे भेजना चाहिए जिससे कि उनकी ट्यूनिंग और चेकअप्स होते रहे जिससे कि वो कोई भी हार्मफुल गैसेस नहीं प्रोड्यूस करें और ऑल्टरनेटिव रिसोर्स लाइक एनर्जी सोलर एनर्जी ओके शुड बी यूज और विंड एनर्जी शुड बी यूज फॉर ड्राइविंग energy from them electricity can also be produced from using solar and wind okay uh, you know short distance can be traveled by bicycle or you can go by foot only okay we should not waste energy suppose you are not using and uh, you are in a room and you have to go there for a 5 minutes or 10 minutes you should have a practice of switching on the lights switching off the lights or fans okay that's how we can conserve our energy resources now we will be discussing all the questions related or the exercise related to this chapter